That's right, Rob, and that suspect, the convicted felon, has served time in the past for armed robbery. In this case, authorities say he left behind a trove of evidence at the crime scene. After allegedly shooting 66-year-old Salem Camo, video shows the suspect racing out of the store and then dropping an object as he runs down the block. He doesn't stop to pick it up. Take a closer look and clearly something falls to the sidewalk just feet from the store. Police say it was a cell phone and it helped identify the alleged shooter, 53-year-old Sean Dunavant, who's now charged with first-degree murder. It was a lot of mixed emotion, but part of me gave me a big smile and I looked at my dad, I'm like, we found him, we found him. Police say Dunavant rode to the store on a bicycle, which he left at the scene. That phone that was recovered allegedly contained several photos, including selfies of Dunavant and pictures of his social security card, a driver's license, a 9mm handgun consistent with the one used to kill Camo, and a bicycle matching the one at the store. And after police released images of the suspect, prosecutors say an acquaintance of Dunavant's identified him and his bicycle. That acquaintance also had Dunavant's number, which allegedly matched the dropped phone. We need corroboration, just the cell phone alone. It's good evidence, obviously, but uh, the, the community calling in was very helpful. A memorial to Camo continues to grow at the store, and after more than a week of heartbreak, there's now some relief. At least for me, it gets makes the anger go down a little bit, you know, knowing that he's not out there anymore and he's captured. In a strange twist, Dunavant's public defender said he's a veteran of Operation Desert Storm. Camo immigrated to the U.S. from Iraq around the time of that first Gulf War. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.